Good morning from Konas. We have just arrived here um, and checked into our hotel. We took the train from Vilnius, which was about an hour and 20 minutes. Really, really nice train. We actually went first class because it was two euros more. So we thought, why not? We're not doing that on the way back though. It was a lot more expensive. Um, and now we're just heading down to Habits Coffee House, I think. I'm meeting my friend Adita who I actually met in Berlin when I went to a travel blogger conference. I think we're going for some lunch and possibly coffee, but I need to find my bearings and figure out what we're doing here. So far, I've only been here for about 30 minutes. My first impressions are that people here in Konas are a lot more friendlier than they are in Vilnius. They are friendly in Vilnius, but they won't just strike up a conversation with you. You kind of have to talk to them first. Um, it's very, very nice here, very clean. They get a bit extreme, that's so like, yeah. when they, let's say... So my yeah. problem with, with any like kind of religions is that... So we've just come to this artsy courtyard called Kiemo Gallery. All the street art and the graffiti is like some mirrored tiles just here. Oh, this is so nice. Where? Oh! I can't even see from up here. It's really cool. Imposed. It's not even. Oh, painted. so it's not it's actually like, painted on. It's, it's kind of carved in, isn't it? Like it's not even paint. It's like this hmm. is this is like coming out a little bit. If that makes sense. Oh yeah. Like it's a. So they've it's carved it into the wall. Yeah, it's almost like somehow. Oh yeah, these two. Yeah, it's interesting. Like it's texture. Okay, so we've just walked all the way through the old town, up and down Liberty Avenue. Now we're at Conus Castle. We're not going to go inside because even Edito, my friend who has just left, has said it's really not that great. Um, I think you have to pay an entrance fee though because it's like a museum inside and every single vlog um, I've watched and blog post also says it's just not worth it. There's not like a ton of stuff to do here in Conas, but it is so hot. It's almost like 30 degrees, I think. We are sweating. Let me show you the castle anyway. Is Konas Castle, or what's left of it anyway. This little courtyard is really nice. And I think there might be a lake down there, but I don't know. Ah, look at this little robot um, lawnmower. There's one down there too. Okay, so we've come to this restaurant called Bernlieu Izega, and we're trying Gira, which is also called homemade kvass. It's a fermented bread drink that is a traditional Lithuanian drink. We got the medium size. There was also one litre. Should I taste it? Okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's How was it? <laughs> taste it is a bit like kombucha but sweeter slightly fizzy let me give it a go well, now we also have these deep fried rye bread with cheese i can't remember the lithuanian name but my friend told me to try this <laughs> it's huge isn't it mm. this was under the snack section of the menu as well something about it actually it is a little bit like beer, isn't it? No, not well, don't know. Kombucha? Apparently, but, bread yeah. is toasted and then they pour hot water over it, add some sort of sweetener, and then leave it to ferment um, and then strain it's not fizzy. it. Maybe not. There's a few bubbles. This is like the cheesiest cheese on toast, essentially, that I've ever had. I'm going to give it a taste test on camera. Very cheesy, right? <laughs> That's nice. Some lot of mayo. Oh yeah. And obviously a lot of cheese. Mm. It is nice. It's it's one of those where you can do with less cheese. 
got this thick layer of mayo from the fried bread and then there's cheese. The mayo kind of ruins it for me. It's a bit too rich. Okay, so here we have the cold beetroot soup. For some reason it's served with uh, new potatoes covered in dill. I'm not really sure how to eat it. There's wasps everywhere here, but I'm gonna give this a taste test on camera. Put a napkin here because beetroot. Oh, okay, just bear with me. I look utterly ridiculous. This feels hot, but it's meant to be cold. Mm. This is nice, but it's not cold. It's really nice. Mm. I really like this. It's my favourite one. Good morning from Konas. We have just got um, some coffees at Green Cafe. Yesterday we did a lot of walking. We walked up to the castle, down Liberty Avenue, through the Old Town. I don't actually think I've vlogged much of it, so today I'm going to be on it because this is our only like day in Konas. There's a lot of museums. My friend that I was with yesterday was like, don't bother, they're all crap. I mean, look. I'm not a massive museum lover um, and a lot of them are quite far out of town anyway so um, I don't necessarily want to travel and then pay for something that I'm not massively into. My hair's still a little bit wet. We're just waiting for um, a restaurant to open up. We decided to skip breakfast and we're going to go straight into brunch, lunch at 11.30 in the morning. We're going to walk all the way down this road which I still don't know the name of because it doesn't even come up on Google Maps. It's a pedestrianised street um and there's a big church at the end of it we were here yesterday i'm just going to walk up and down it and just see what there is so i'm finally trying cold beetroot soup served with boiled potatoes we're in this cozy little vegetarian restaurant called zalia pupa Yesterday I ordered cold beetroot soup um, in that restaurant and that wasn't what I was served and we did think it looked different. We ate it, I even questioned it at the end, which is sometimes it's cold, sometimes it's hot, but actually that was borscht, which is a Ukrainian soup. So this time I have the real deal. Um very sceptical about trying this. <laughs> right, let's do a taste test. It's very dill heavy. I can smell this, aren't I? That's really nice. Mm. It's really like refreshing. Mm. Really refreshing. It's got cucumber, dill, cabbage. Mm. I like that. Do you like that? We tried it. Okay. okay. I really like the soup. Um, I had about two or three spoonfuls, and then I was wondering what the ingredients were. I had a bad feeling it was milk. I checked. There's milk in there. I'm lactose intolerant. Also, I can eat cheese, so I can't eat the rest of the soup. <laughs> Um, it's my own fault for not checking because I'm in a vegetarian restaurant, not a vegan restaurant. It was good, but hopefully I'm okay because this is the first time I've had milk in about eight years, I want to say. What's this one again? It's a broccoli pancake. Oh, okay. And this is the chickpea stew. Yes, rice, chickpeas, a little bit spicy, paprika, carrot. Okay. Oh, okay, that's thank you. That's and that's the chickpea salad, is yes. it? Yes. Oh, okay. Better, uh, thank, you nice. thank you very much. Thank you so much, Thank you. It's me this long to realise that this whole pedestrianised street that we've been walking up and down is called Liberty Avenue. I thought it was, but there are just no street signs anywhere, and Google Maps didn't tell me either. But we're just walking to the old town now. Our breakfast slash lunch was good, it wasn't amazing. But I think it's quite nice to just try like local-ish foods. So a fun fact I learned yesterday was that you cannot just cross the road wherever you want to here because you will be fined. So for example, this is quite a busy main road coming up. So you have to like walk under the underpass. If you don't wait for the green man, you're basically gonna get a fine.
the way through the old town and we're back at Konas Castle. And now we're gonna maybe just grab like a cold drink from somewhere here and then make our way up to Alex Soto Hill. And this is green tea. Green tea I'm trying. Uh, green tea, um, okay. Salt caramel. Oh, and salt caramel. Salt, salted caramel. Salted caramel. Salted caramel. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, that's so oh, nice. Look at yeah, your face. <laughs> nuts. Nuts. Yeah, nuts. Sure. Okay, yeah. Thank you. This cute little face she's done with oh, the yeah. marshmallows <laughs> and the hat. Yeah. <laughs> it's adorable. We've just arrived at the Alex Sotas uh, funicular, which is the oldest funicular in Lithuania, and it connects the centre of Konas up to Alex Sotas Hill, which is meant to be the best viewpoint um, in the city of Konas. So we're going to get the funicular up, I think it's still open, and go check out some views. Here we go, so their opening hours are until 7pm and they're closed for lunch. <coughs> Hello. Yes. I to buy tickets. Their ride was like not the best it was very very smelly um, the lady was probably the least friendliest lady I've ever met I was like is this ever gonna leave it took all of about 20 seconds to get up here so we're definitely gonna walk back down because it's not that steep we just went up um, for the experience but the view is beautiful but if you saw my Vilnius vlog this is not that impressive. I also think it might be a bit nicer when it's not so sunny and not autumn, like when the trees, especially the one on the right, has like lost its leaves. You'd be able to see a lot more of the city, I wanna say. So I don't actually know what these buildings are, um, but this basically just seems to be the viewpoint. There's two funiculars in Konas. This is meant to be the better one. Um, and there is a little area downstairs and there's like loads of people which you can't see right now just sat there having a picnic but I want to go down and have a look at the view see if it's any better we're gonna to head to um, a vegan restaurant which has traditional Lithuanian food my friend has given me a list of um, Lithuanian foods that are vegetarian or vegan friendly that I need to try and there's still a couple of things I think I'm missing off that list so we're gonna go and tick those off Look, it's really not that steep actually, um, and the steps are broken up with loads of platforms. I don't know what this is for though, is this for a bike, Jas? No, I don't think well, it should be very really dangerous. I see them on um, loads of stairs here, even at the train station, but that's for suitcases at the train station. I don't know, it's very strange, but anyway, we're literally like halfway down now. I feel like it looks like we've just been eating in this vlog. I'm very aware of that, but we've just been walking around loads. Like every single day since we've been in Lithuania, we've done a minimum of 15,000 steps. I mean, that's what city breaks do to you, right? But we haven't just been eating. It's just been a lot of walking around. I haven't filmed it all. Um, I think we're gonna take the scenic route back through the old town again. So we've come to Arbatin, which is a vegan restaurant. I think these are the pancakes that are traditionally stuffed with like meat, yeah. but obviously this is not meat here. And these are the potato pancakes that we actually had in Vilnius, but with the mushroom sauce, which I absolutely loved. So it will be interesting to compare the two. I do know the Lithuanian name for this, I think, but I can't pronounce it, so I will put it all in the blog post. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, that's amazing. That's nice, yeah. This is your, yeah, same. Uh... Mm -hmm. It's the same owner. Oh. I think she's showing me. The lady told me to follow her to come and have a look at this pharmacy. I think it's the same owner. This is really cool. Look at those um, things on the wall. Yeah. Like the cupboards. It's like embossed on there. Yeah, she's got yeah. Oh, sorry. Hmm? We are in Pharmacy of Hope and here is a mural to Swarov and Oh, nice. Food at Arbatine was actually really good and we got chatting to a man outside who's a local because the two ladies that run the place don't really speak English and they couldn't really explain to me what all the various pastries were and I was keen to try local food so he was trying to say that they change it up every day they're mostly savoury 
but there are some sweet ones so we it was all a bit confusing but we got a mixed vegetable pastry as well and a sour plum one which actually wasn't sweet had a quick little outfit change so i had to go back to the hotel to charge my phone and my power bank now we're just walking down to the donut place to meet edita my friend she wants me to try a snack i'm gonna ask her what it is because i've forgotten but it's something vegetarian um from a local supermarket so i don't know if we're gonna hang out with her or if we're just gonna go for a drink or if she's just gonna give me a snack <laughs> on her way home but it'll be nice to see her again and conveniently we're meeting outside the donut place that we were meant to try earlier but couldn't face the thought of eating anymore here we go this is just a two minute walk from our hotel Let's go in and have a look while we wait. Very traditional place. Hello. Hello. Oh, wow. Oh, they're really big. <laughs> Whoa. Um. Oh. <laughs> Curd donut. Oh, a cabbage. Cabbage? Oh, so it's not sweet. Mm, no? no? Oh, okay. Um, okay. Um, yeah, we'll come. We're just waiting for our friend. Your so we got um, curd donuts. Okay. So far, the first bite is just dough. So maybe just a little bit. I need to eat faster. That's fine. Okay, going for my second bite. Still mainly dough, but kind of hint oh. of the cabbage. Okay. Let me try some. Oh. Is it good? It's not sweet. <laughs> no, I didn't think it would be because it's savoury fillings. I'm going to try this side. <laughs> not, not what you expect from a donut. Interesting. It's not disgusting, but mm. I mean, yeah. it's definitely an acquired taste, I would say. Now I'm going for the curd one. Mm -hmm. A bit squashier, and uh, okay, let's go for it. It's not sweet, huh? Mm. So far, it's nicer, even though I only had the dough. I'm not going to the middle yet. I'll try again. Very fluffy. Oh, the curd is baked into the dough. Oh, no, I remember that. <coughs> I think Adita told me that yesterday. This one's actually sweet. Oh, this is nice and warm. Yeah, I like this okay. one. Nice, isn't it? That one's really nice. Mmm. <laughs> That's like. I know UK donuts, like the cheap ones you get, yeah, and they're like winter wonderland or whatever. Warm. It's like that, but not overly sweet. Very really sugary. You know. This isn't. Yeah, mm. mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Don't don't lick your lips. <laughs> <laughs> That's always the thing. They say that apparently if you have a donut, there's no way you're not going to lick your lips. So Edita has just bought us loads of snacks, which she really so didn't need to do. And oh wait, and this is Magia, by the way. What's there's that? Promotional stuff, so there's Magia. Okay. She's great snack. Oh, this that's cheese as well, seeds. the chocolate one. Yeah, I mean, they, they are all cheese curd snacks, but this one is with poppy seeds, this one is salted caramel, and this one is with chocolate. Wow. Wow. This one is vegan, and these are vegetarian. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, my God. You're saying yeah. we have to try them now, after the donut? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this one is vegan, so you can eat it. But, like, I would thank recommend you. you just at least trying this oh, it's heavy. for oh, yeah. traditional flavour. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. So you can go for the chocolate, oh, thank you, yeah. and you should share this as a half half, I guess. Whoa, okay. This is, yeah, this is like cold. Let's do that. Yeah. Here's me thinking I was done with all the traditional Lithuanian food and drink, but Edita has said I need to try a shot of something that tastes like cough syrup and it's made of 27 herbs. Okay, what's the drink called? Jalas de Vinas. 
<laughs> you got that. Just let her pronounce it and order it, but I will take a photo of the bottle. Oh, mm -hmm. I don't mind saying it. Oh. It's Vicata. It's Vicata. It's Vicata. Can I come with your phone uh, this angle as well? Oh. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, Do you want another take? Yeah, I lost Devin and Ross. <laughs> These two are a bad influence on me. Think, they have just decided we're pretty. getting more shots. And I'm such a lightweight. This is not good. One, two, three. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what an evening it's been such a fun one i've just got back to the hotel it's really really late we had like three shots each of that drink can you do you remember how to pronounce it oh i completely forgot <laughs> d i don't know you would have seen it um but it's really late we need to finish packing because tomorrow we leave super early we have a really long travel day we are taking a train to vilnius and then four-hour bus to Riga, Latvia, which I'm really not looking forward to. But I'm going to start a new vlog then, and I will show you all the bits that Adita got me, hopefully in that vlog, because she bought us a lot of stuff as a gift, and it was so, so nice of her. We've had such a great evening. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!